And what's up, Baltimore? I'm Mark Clark, and this is Be More Lifestyle Live from Studio A at Fox Baltimore. Lady T is here, hey. along with Power to P, Persia Nicole from 92Q. Hey, Good girl. morning, ladies. Let me tell you right <laughs> now. Well, Valentine's Day is coming up, and who doesn't love to be in love? But listen Aww. to this. One relationship expert is sharing signs you may be too good for your partner. Okay. Sign number one, mm -hmm. the other person doesn't take you out on real dates. Mm. Two, if they put in far less effort in their appearance than mm -hmm. you do. Three, you support their goals more than they support yours. Four, they only talk to you when they need something. And five, they're not 100% Now, wait a minute, Mark. Loyal. This all sound like, this sound like right. side chick and side dude. This sound like you hate uh, yourself. This sound like, this sound like, this you like hate, five signs this you sound hate yourself. This sound like they hate you and you hate yourself. Because, baby, it's, it's giving side dude and side chick. Well, lady, you're like. the only one dating out here in these mm -hmm. streets. Me and Persia Nicole are. Yeah, this sound like, yeah. this sound like a situation where you get taken out the day after Valentine's Day. That's side, <laughs> right. that's side chick's day. That's national side chick's day. You take side chick out the next day. You know? That's what it's giving. But you know what? These are good red flags to reach out, to look out for. Because you know you don't want these haters to get into slide into your DMs because they are fake out here. You gotta Persia, be careful. I've heard you. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have a bad experience? Or did you see any flags when you were ever Tell you know, dating Persia. somebody or on a date with somebody? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I saw a thousand flags, and uh, a lot of times I dodged the flags, but good thing I didn't caught a good flag. I, I got a green flag. Hey, and I now. hey you better brag I'm on him. Now. Brag on him, girl. green flag. <laughs> <laughs> no she destruction flag, a, no orange flag that. here. She said, she said, we got, you got your man. Yeah, I got, hey. I, your yeah. man, your man, man, your man. I got That's you, right. girl. I, I think, I'm what, what beside it? him. Mm-hmm. Well, See, come on now. If he like it, then you should have put him in. He put a ring on it. Shout That's out right. to Mr. Power to pee. He did, okay? he did right. <laughs> Mr. Power to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica B was off with a hot take. We should be eating in the shower. Is she back again? What? Would you try it? The actress recently posted on TikTok how she regularly brings food into the shower and eats while bathing, saying oh. it saves time. I don't know that. I don't like the this. mixture of food with that shower no. taste in water. I don't want no shower. It's just I don't like the tap water taste plus no. the food taste. It just it's is not much. a. It's not a, a five star meal Purge in my mouth. Nicole, I don't what like do you it. Think, Purge, you like this? <laughs> Well, the problem is that I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Lady T, because when I eat my food, I need a drink at the same time. So yes. I gotta eat and then put my mouth underneath. Like, yeah. it's just not giving, it don't add up. And plus, I don't like soggy food, and it's giving me soggy. Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Nobody I can, wants soggy. I don't, and, and as I'm thinking about it, too, I'm like, I already have to balance keeping my bonnet dry in the shower. Oh, oh, you know, okay. <laughs> making sure. Give us more information, Lady T. Making sure the hair doesn't get wet. Yes. I'm like, I'm already yeah. balancing that. I don't wanna have to do that, plus eat in the sh a yeah. shower. I just, ooh, girl, what? Uh, she has actresses, too much time. Jessica Biel has you to tell too it. much time. Oh, well, unless it's a hot food tub. in the shower, vote now on our website, foxbaltimore.com mm -hmm. slash vote. When you get to the website, make sure you click on the lifestyle tab. Mm -hmm. You can also vote on our Fox 45 News app. At the end of the show, we'll see what everybody thinks. Mm -hmm. Now, who doesn't want to be wealthy? <laughs> Nearly half of young adults say they're obsessed with the idea of being rich. According to a new survey, 44% of Gen Z and 46% of millennials admit to chasing the high life a trend largely driven by social media. Mm. But let me tell you something what they ain't chasing. Mm -hmm. They ain't chasing uh, being on time. They ain't chasing uh, working hard. They ain't chasing, uh, you know, I mean, because, hey, I got, well, you a, thought, oh, I got, shots have I got a generation of these kids. <laughs> they be late. My daughter be late for her first day of work okay. every time. Okay. Yeah. So you may want the fantasy of being wealthy, but are yeah. willing to do what it takes. That's just my experience. Persia Nicole, what do you think? Mm hmm. <laughs> um, these kids are chasing fast money, social media money. Here's the thing about life. What nobody outside is shoveling, no snow when we had all that snow. They're not chasing that type of hard work money. It's giving me like, y'all just want the coins on tickety tock and that's it. That's wow. true. That's well, true. Uh, Generation Lady T. <laughs> Lady T. <laughs> I what know. do you say right. for yourself? This is a, I'm, I'm, I'm actually a millennial, but I can see it. I can see myself being rich. I just can see myself having ribeye hey. steaks every Big single day. <laughs> with, Girl. With, with, I can see myself Girl. having lobster and truffle butter and every day. I can see, I can really I see myself rich. being rich. They see 50 and cents. Yeah. Like yeah. And I, as a sugar baby, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as, a, as a trophy wife in training, I just, well, I just, I can see it. I want that well, money, that richness. And, speaking of richness, you know, Lady T's got some stories about some rich people. I do. Speaking of rich people, I got tea, top Persia. Top afternoon radio show, top afternoon midday radio show, Persia Nicole, go back to work. It's the power Thank of the pee. So the power <laughs> of the pee. Hey, and no, that pee stands for pockets. Hey, okay. Big okay. pockets. Go, girl. Still ahead. What are those balloons? Still ahead. Reese